We have some big data here, Carl. If you're looking at the new home sales for the month of May, 763,000, leaping over 675,000. That was our estimate. Last month, slightly revised 680,000. This is the best month over month number going all the way back to February of 22. And it comes at a time where, what, bank rate 30 year fix is slightly over 7%. Last week's MBA survey, 30 year fix was six and three quarters. And Kay Schiller today dropped on their home pricing index to a seven year low. So some good news in housing. Now let's go to consumer confidence, shall we? 109.7 is our June read. 109.7, that's the best read going all the way back to January of 22. January of 22. Present situation, 155.3. That's the best since July of 21. And if we look at expectations, at 79.3, that is the best level of the year going back to December of last year. Now for some not so good news, Fed Manufacturing Index at minus seven is the sixth consecutive negative month over month change. And on the service side for the Richmond Fed, the 16th negative consecutive month in a row at minus 12. Now for more on new home sales, big leap, let's go to Diana Olick. Diana? Well, Rick, this is a huge number. As you said, the street was actually looking for a slight drop in May. One thing I want to note, these are signed contracts. That's how these new home sales are counted. So people out shopping for a home in May. And if you take a look at mortgage rates during the month of May, they were around 6.5% for the first half. Then they shot markedly higher to over 7% by the end of the month. So buyers are still in the game. We heard this from Lennar and KB Home last week in earnings reports that were much better than expected. A couple of notes on this. The median price of a newly built home sold in May was $416,300. That was actually down 7.6%, and the builders have been lowering prices slightly, offering some incentives, but they did say they're offering fewer incentives lately than they had last fall. We're also seeing the supply of new homes for sale dropping to a 6.7-month supply, that from a 7.6-month supply in April. So the builders, again, are going to have to start putting more holes in the ground, and housing starts did increase, so that's a good sign. And one more thing I want to note is the number of homes that were sold but haven't been started yet has jumped really sharply, which just gives that long runway for the builders ahead. That's why you're seeing the stocks up as high as they are, because given the demand in the market now, the incredibly low supply of existing homes for sale, this is why the builders are reaping the benefits of it. And you see it right here. Despite the higher mortgage rates, buyers are still in the game, Carl.